Good morning. Yes, I'm in this converted barn and with me are 78 of these huge Tesla batteries. Now this barn and the plant here is thought to be the largest Tesla equipment site in the UK. So how does it work? Well, the electricity comes up through this transformer from the electricity grid. Now that electricity is then converted using this piece of equipment called the inverter into a form of energy that can be easily stored in these batteries that can then be drawn on that electricity when demand really is high. Now there are mini plants like this spring up around the country as demand for electric vehicles increases and I've been to see one put in in Guildford by the bus company Stagecoach which means that the UK's first park and ride service using only electric buses is now operating. Now, four years ago, there weren't any battery storage facilities like this one in the UK. Now there are around 30. Let's have a chat to James Basden, who is the co-founder of Zenobi Energy, which runs this one. James, there have been concerns that actually these batteries aren't very environmentally friendly. Uh, can you ensure that they are ethically sourced and will be recycled? Yes. Well, we spend a lot of time with our suppliers right the way uh, through the whole life cycle of the product. So making sure that the product is properly sourced sourced and then in about 20 years time when we decommission this site we will make sure that Tesla in this case takes the equipment and takes all the materials out of it so that they are recycled and reused in the next generation of products. Okay James many thanks so is this really a game changer for renewable energy let's have a chat to Duncan Burt who is uh, the group operations director for the National Grid ESO. Duncan, how much of a ga de game changer really is it? Oh, this is a huge game changer. We're getting ready to run the grid with no fossil fuels by 2025. And James and Zenobi and companies like that are absolutely fundamental to making sure that we can do that, keep costs down and keep those lights on and charge those EVs as they come online. Okay, many thanks, Duncan.